Here we go for another Steelman show. Today, lots of action packed stuff for you. Hopefully, um, something to tickle your fancy, so to speak. Something old, something new. Um, many enjoyable bits, we hope. As you can see, no green screen or anything like that today. We're doing it purely in a room with some curtains and lots of other bits in the background anyway so let's just get on with it and uh, see what we can bring you and uh, hopefully stuff for your enjoyment and don't forget to tell your friends about the show and everything Corby Town and like I keep saying if there's something that you want on the show then please get in touch howlingmad1967 at gmail.com or call me at the ground that's fine Anybody else's input into what we're doing would be uh, highly beneficial and help me out no end at all. If you still want to come on the show, help write it, help produce it, uh, film it, or add any articles into it, then again, hallomav1967 at gmail.com. Please get in touch because uh, I could do with all the help that I can get time and uh, stuff like that becomes an issue when you're trying to do something like this on a weekly basis. One thing I will like to say, there will be no show next week. Um, unfortunately, I'm unavailable to be able to record the show next week and that's where another pair of hands will come in. Um, also, there will be no highlights of the Frickley game. Um, I'm, I'm unable to attend that game this Saturday. But you can check out Frickley Athletic. They have a very good YouTube channel and they will have highlights of the game. I think they're normally put up on a Monday. Okay, here we go. This is the second part of the wonderful piece of history in photographs done by David Tilly from the 1970s. Um, we put the first part on last week and this is the second part. So a little bit of background music. Enjoy it. Wonderful piece of work and... Thanks to Dave for doing it for us, and here it is. pointed out last week goal of the month is going to be run every single month at the end of the month there'll be four goals posted on the Twitter account and you can go up and you can vote the October winner as I put the four goals up last week for just for you to have a look at them was Jordan Crawford's goal against St Neitz and I guess going on what we saw last Saturday against Belper his Goal in the second half may well be a contender for November as well. So we'll wait and see if any other steel men can better Jordan's effort on that day or whether he can come up with something completely different and score another belter like that. Well, let's wait and see. The youth team are currently second in the league. This is after a 2-2 home draw to Rothwell Corinthians last night. Um, being Monday night, uh, great game, Corby uh, well ahead 
looked to be cruising to be honest uh, creating chances and Rothwell Corinthians looked a bit suspect at the back um, the young lads dug in goals from Zach Allen and Hilton Arthur gave Corby a 2-0 lead and they took that lead into the half time and to be honest it could have been one or two more at least um, second half they were really well pegged back and uh, al although without creating loads of clear cut chances. Rothwell certainly did push the young Stillman back in as the game wore on, managed to score twice in quick succession um, to level the game up. Then you were a little bit unsure really which way it was going to go but the quality really came from the young Stillman and right at the end they had an opportunity to win the game but unfortunately um, the penalty that they got was missed and uh, it's probably not the best penalty you're likely to see and um, yeah but unlucky we tried and uh, we are currently second in the league now a point ahead of Rothwell Corinthians and five points behind Kettering Town with the same amount of games played. The next game for the Young Stillmans is at home this Monday coming. Uh, this one goes back to 1980-81. I believe it's recorded on old cine-type film. So it's a bit grainy, but well worth looking back. If you like the history of the club, then the club historian Dave Tilly also does photographs, has some wonderful old film and he's been sharing it with us and as you've seen the little bit with the photographs. It was a home game at the old occupation road against Redditch United and uh, I think you'll see from the pictures a little bit since those days are playing in a muddy field but anyways this is as football as it was back in the day and um, I guess it's hard to uh, believe it's uh, 37 years ago really but anyways here it is Corby v Redditch 80-81 and enjoy it.
not so much of a profile but it's just an interview really with a few clips like I say time was a bit of an issue for me this week anyways so this is uh, Paul Malone talking about um, Corby Town and um, this was done after the game with Belper and uh, yeah here he goes let's see what he had to say Chuck is asking the questions I'm doing the filming what a tremendous victory today, five goals, a clean sheet, you've got a brace, how does that make you feel? You're the first one, you struck like a striker. Well, we worked on that in training on Tuesday night, now just instinct, just thought I'd go around the corner up and uh, I went for a goal but I thought if I hit it back in that area, someone might get on the end of it but sadly, well luckily no one needed to, it went straight in the top corner but yeah. Um, but yeah, clean sheet was massive as well. We, knew, you know, we said at half time we've been in that situation a couple of times a season where we've not had the cut and edge second half. We've got a two or three goal lead like last Saturday when we went to Loughborough and we haven't had that cut and edge to go and finish teams off. And today, I think anyone that was watching um, could have been double figures. Um, I could have probably had two hat tricks. Um, and that's on a serious note. But yeah, so enjoyable day. But your second goal, that was well struck as well. Take two bites of the cherry, but uh, it still nestled in the back of the net well. Yeah, well, I thought the keeper saved the header before that, and I thought, oh, God, I'm going to stay on this one goal. But then, you know, it just dropped right back to me. So I thought I'd just put my laces right through it again, straight, in the, uh, straight back of the net again. So, yeah. But your performance in the back four in the defence, where you, you are known for being quite a good defender, yeah. one of the best here at Corby Town, but uh, your clearance headers were very good as well. Knocking headers back and playing back to the keeper, it seems to be there's a better, um, a better understanding between you and, and the, the whole defensive line and the keeper himself. Yeah, well, I've got Big J Lee beside me, obviously. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, I think one thing, we've, we've lost quite a few players in the last few weeks, key players for us, um, and one thing that hasn't changed is the back four. Um, but we've been winning games, but the way we attack is sort of open and leave ourselves a bit short and make things difficult for ourselves. So the first thing me and JV said to each other and to the other two deciders in the warm-up was, listen, we don't change anything today. The only thing we change is get a clean sheet. Because we've, we've been... We've deserved a clean sheet in some games, sometimes it has been bad, but we thoroughly deserved it today. Every opportunity they had, which there wasn't that many, we sniffed out and, you know, but yeah, the header back to the goalkeeper is one of my uh, little tricks up my sleeve I like to do and, and happily Sam, um, he's always moving as, as I'm about to head it, so he knows he knows the crack now. So. Fans always want to know about your full fitness. Obviously, we know about your injuries, know about your legs, we know how you feel. Uh, you're back at Corby for the third time. How are you feeling mentally yourself? Are you you're ready, Rick? You're up for the fight. You're there. You want to play? Yeah. Well, when I left um, last summer, well, last January, I got uh, goal stones from the goal guard. I had to get that out and lost weight and I struggled to come back uh, to be honest and I didn't have a pre-season so it was always going to take me so the first five games I played were a bit like my pre-season um, and I was getting a lot of pain but now you know with I've come through a lot of games um, and I'm doing the right things away from football um, you know in the gym and stuff so it's, it's helping a lot and mentally um, it's a lot it was never a problem mentally going into any tackles or anything but you know the aches and pains you get you know but you go through it for the love of the game um, and it's brilliant to be back here and it's brilliant to be back amongst the winning team that is going in the right direction but we are going to get fooled by um, the results of recent because we know how quick it can change we look how bad our start was we know that once we if you win five or six games at any league you're going to be up there but as soon as you win them you can switch off and go back down if you, if you switch off and go lose five on the bounce but I think with Kimmy's, we've got that balance um, and he keeps us on our toes. You know, he was louder than their manager at half time, giving us a ball and we were 3 0 up. So that, that just shows the mentality of him at the top and it's coming down and it's showing in the change room. A couple of big games coming up, away at Frickley and then uh, Keith Holtz here. It's going to be a bit of a cruncher, isn't it? It is, yeah, but you know, if you look at the. Look at the Every team at this level is capable of beating each other and it's about key moments in the game if we're switched on for that. And we don't fear anyone in this league. Uh, we really don't. 
and it's every other team's cup final when they come to a place like Steel Park and we have to ride that wave, uh, simple as that. But, you know, going away from home, we'll, we're confident, we believe we can beat anyone in this league on the day, you know, but the next two games, they'll say a lot about us as a side because we know, you know, look at last week, we're, we're capable of playing the league above, but the next two games are the real test to show the, the strength and depth in our side. Paul Malone, man of the match today, I would have guessed if there was an award for such a thing, but uh, well done Dave, great couple of brace of goals and uh, good performance, well done. Here we go, last uh, Sunday afternoon, Corby Town ladies travelled to Northampton Town, a team that were uh, in insanely good form and top of the league, uh, yeah, really difficult game for the uh, ladies to take on board, but... Um, Managed to come away with an unbelievable 3-2 result, um, which must be a real confidence boost for the team and everybody involved with them. Fantastic result for them. Um, goals from Two goals, I believe, from Laura Dodwell. Um, the other goal came from Nicole Anderchuk, I believe. According to the reports, the ladies did very, very well indeed and it was a massive result for them and a real confidence booster. Well done to the ladies and we'll try and keep you posted. But you can check all this stuff out on the Corby Town website and that will keep you up to date with what's going on. They have a home game this Sunday afternoon against Peterborough United, I believe. Kickoff is at 2pm. Go along, support the ladies uh, because, uh, yeah, it's well worth it, and they certainly are getting some great results over recent weeks. So we'll keep cheering you on, and, uh, yeah, I guess last weekend was a great weekend for all the Corby teams, and uh, keep it up, guys, and uh, let's hopefully this weekend is a fairly decent one. The Frickley game will be tough. We go there in good form. Let's hope we can get some sort of a result from that game up the steel men as i say there'll be no show next week like i explained just not possible for me to do it next week but i'm still looking for help somebody to help me record it present it and write articles for it and that would be absolutely brilliant so if you're still interested get in touch with me howlingmad1967 at gmail.com we're going to be doing features with some of the people around the club and yeah see how we go and see whether you enjoy it all or not um, but please keep watching tell people um, blown away by you know obviously people are tuning in and watching it yeah, it's always going to be difficult to get this sort of thing started and I'm not presented by any stretch of the imagination but uh, certainly will do my best to get it up and running and hopefully at some point somebody will come in and say yeah, I want to do it. I want to get there and sit in front of a camera and talk and whatever. But yeah, let's get on with it and uh, see what we can bring for you in the coming week.